Okay. Uh, good morning. So today we are going to do in management is uh, controlling. What is controlling? Okay. Uh, today's topic will be ex trying to explain the term controlling, uh, the purpose of control, um, examine the steps involved in the process of control, describe the forms of control, analyze the perspective and uh, activities and that needs to be controlled. Let's start by you know trying to define what is controlling or what is con control in management means. So control is a primary goal uh, to you know um, oriented uh, function of management in a, in an organization. Now it is a process of you know comparing the actual performance with the set standard of the company to ensure that the activities are performed according to the plans and if not taken uh, in correct in corrective action every manager will need to uh, monitor and evaluate the activities of his subordinates so it helps in taking uh, you know corrective actions by uh, managers in uh, you know in the given timeline to avoid uh, you know uh, contingency or men, uh, or you know um, companies uh, who are at losses Control uh, controlling is to perform at a slower middle uh, and upper level of the management. Okay. So again, coming back to the meaning is that controlling is one of the four main functions in management. It is the important. It it is important to the managers in order to ensure all the planning, organizing, and leading runs as smooth uh, smoothly as desired or as aimed for. Okay, so that is what controlling is. Uh, if managers are able to ensure that each plan made and every task given to the employees are carried out perfectly and the result expected is, uh, you know, what uh, had been planned, controlled in a, you know, is not required. Unfortunately, the managers are not able to ensure these conditions. So uh, they will uh, require a method to control it for a smooth uh, running, uh, you know, of this. So without, uh, without the, you know, occurrence of any problem, since most of the planning is done by the, you know, it is uh, by the people, by the employees. So there is known to be uh, so some, uh, you know, mistakes or some some loopholes left behind. So there, uh, it's a, there we need to, you know, to motivate and to you know, change and control and, and, and you know, uh, implement all the plannings together in a proper manner. Okay. Now, management is a systematic effort to fix to or establish the standard of performance through planning and object, uh, objectives, defining uh, information and feedback system comprising of two performance with the fixed standard of determining whether there are any disadvantages or weakness and taking a suitable uh, you know, um, action to ensure all the resources within the organization can be used in, in the uh, most effective and efficient way uh, in achieving the objective of the organization. Now, according to Ryu, um, uh, you know, control is a process of ensuring the organization's activity um, uh, are running according to uh, the um, plan of the organization. Now, the process can be you know, carried out by comparing the true performance with the standard and that has been established and taking the corrective action in order to uh, rectify and distortion uh, of um, the others and compile with the standards. The main purpose of control in the management is to prepare managers to face future or existing problem before uh, you know they turn critical. In general, an organization with a good control mechanism will have the advantage of uh, you know co uh, competing the strength com uh, compared to the organization without a good control system. The following are the several uh, you know examples that uh, uh, you know shows the importance of control. That is control process, uh, measuring actual performance, 
comparing the actual performance against the standards and taking managerial uh, uh, you know steps towards the uh, you know uh, the performance uh, or action to improve it so the goal and objective of our organizational division and departmental or our at an individual level will be measuring uh, the actual performance through pro the process of control uh, comp then comparing the actual performance against the stand set standard and taking a managerial actions right so um, the uh, uh, in controlling the main features of you know controlling is that an effective control system that has the for, you know uh, you know has to be followed to help achieve the organizational goal facilitate optimum utilization of the resources uh, it uh, you know evaluates the you know accuracy of the standards set standards it is uh, it sets uh, you know discipline and other uh, in order in and orders you know uh, in the uh, organization it motivates employees and boosts the employees morale to work for the organization with more efficiency ensures the future planning uh, by you know revising the standards that uh, that we have set and improve all over performance of an organization and it is also minimize the errors that control and planning are uh, interrelated uh, for controlling gives an important uh, input into the next planning cycle controlling is a backward looking a uh, function which you know brings the management uh, cycle back to the planning functions the planning is a uh, you know uh, a forward looking process as it deals with you know forecast about the future of and the conditions so in uh, processing of you know controlling we need the first step is, that we need is to establish the standards then we is the second thing is to measure the actual performance third is being the com you know compare uh, comparison of actual performance with the standard um, set standard and then the last thing is that corrective action which is necessary to be taken up so uh, establishing uh, standards uh, that means uh, setting up of a target which me uh, needs to be achieved to meet the uh, you know, organizational goal eventually standard indicating the criteria of the performance. Now control standards are you know, uh, categorized as quantitative and qualitative standards. Now quantitative standards are expressed in terms of money. Uh, uh, and uh, qualitative standards, on the other hand, includes uh, intangible things and intangible items of the organization. Like um, being employees are, you know, intangible part of the organization. If you are an old, good uh, employee of the organization, it's an intangible, uh, qual uh, you know, uh, qualitative standards. Now, measurement of actual performance. The actual performance of the employees is measured against the targets. So, with the uh, you know uh, increased level of man management, the measurement of performance becomes very difficult. The comparison of you know actual performance with the standard that com uh, the, this compares the degree of you know difference between actual performance and the standard. Taking corrective actions, that is, it initiates. Uh, it is initiated by the managers who uh, corrects any defects in actual performance. A controlling process thus, you know, regulates uh, companies and activities so the actual performance, uh, you know, conforms to the standards of plan. Now, an effective control system enables managers to avoid circumstances which cause the, you know, um, organizations losses. Now, what are the various types of controls okay uh, various types of controls that we can go for is uh, uh, are like feedback control you know um, concurrent control um, predictive or feedback uh, yes okay, predictive control or feed forward control are some types of control the quality assurance that is uh, the uh, in controlling uh, we have to have a quality assurance that is uh, so for the smooth running of the particular process and uh, can be uh, you know monitored by the problems and can be uh, avoided by having control and the control is able to uh, stimulate the organization to monitor and increase the quality of the product and the services offered 
दो एक्टिविटीज दैट रिलेट्स टू दी कंट्रोल प्रोसेस मेंबर्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल ऑलवेज बी ड्रिवन टू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लान दैट हैव बीन एस्टैब्लिश्ड uh we have uh, preparations to face challenges uh now what are the preparations to face challenges uh we have um, you know changes that cannot be avoided changes in environmental factor such as market uh, competitors uh, technology and uh, you know the legislation makes the control process important for the managers in responding towards the opportunity and threat the control problem the organization is suited to uh, in a pr- um, product to uh, end the wants of the consumer in the market okay uh what are the steps being control in, in, in you know control process again a uh, control process has a th- you know uh, few steps that is fixing uh, you know establishing the standards of the uh, of the company then we have uh, uh sorry uh, yes uh, establishing standards first of all then measure measurement measurement technique to measurement or measuring of the actual performance comparison uh, then we have a corrective uh, uh, measures that has to be taken up by the management okay uh so here it is uh, first of all establishing a standard a performance standard measuring the actual performance uh, you know comparing the performance and then going to the corrective step okay so establishing standards uh, standard is the you know is the basis of comparison to measure the level of performance of a company in order to find out whether the company is compliant or not the standard is the you know point of reference in uh, making the comparison in another word uh, the another word that values is that the standard can be defined as what is required out of a particular job or an individual in a management control uh, the standards are usually uh, derived from the objective standards uh, that should be easily be measured and interpreted a specific uh, objective that can be measured uh makes it more suitable to be used as a standard so if the standard is not clearly or specifically st- you know stated it may be in- interpreted in a different uh, in a different way and will be ar- ar- arising a lot of issues and the problems in the organization now there are three types of standards that is physical standard uh then qual- uh, quantity uh, of uh, product and the number of customers and quality of products and services uh, financial standards uh, which is you know stated in the form of money and this includes uh, you know labor cost sale cost material cost sale revenue uh, profit margin and other, and so on so others the uh, and lately the uh, you know lastly the time uh, standard which includes the performance rate of the particular task or the time period required to complete a particular task measuring uh, performance and making comparison now uh, performance measurement is a type of control actual results needs to be monitored to ensure that uh, in the output uh, you know uh, produce is uh, you know in accord according to the specific standard the main purpose of the performance monitor- monitoring is to uh, gather data and detect in uh, you know, a deviations and problem areas so the measurement has no meaning uh, until uh, you know uh, if it is not ha- it does not have anything else to compare with so it uh, if it it is of no meaning if it is not compared to the standard so the next step is to perform a comparison of the standard the comparison of a standard is a process which uh, you know where comparison is made between the true performance with the standard set by the organization now this uh, this step is also important because it allows an uh, any deviation or distortion to be detected and corrective actions can be taken uh in order to achieve the goal that have been 
accept okay now corrective actions it is often found that the managers establish standards and monitor uh, monitor decisions but do not take suitable actions the first and second step in control uh, will be meaningless if corrective actions are not taken before taking any steps in you know, uh, you know correct you know, um, correcting uh, detailing analyzing uh, must be carried out in order to find a find out the factors that causes a particular deviations uh, this corrective action may involve a you know, change in one or more operational activities of the organization such as you know uh, modification repairing of the machine uh, you know preparation of uh, you know certain uh, you know uh, courses and others so uh, or it might also be involved uh, a change in the fixed standards so corrective action is a process of identifying the distorted performance and analyzing the distortion and developing the uh, implement and implementing programs in order to rectify the losses now dynamic process is that uh, the running of the control process is a continuous act and this process cannot be done only uh, uh, can only be done once in order to gain the achievement uh, expected so this is uh, considered as a dynamic process the dynamic process begins with looking at the true performance and measuring the uh, achievement level of the uh, of a particular performance okay so manager will then you know compare the performance uh, achieved with the performance that have not been uh, you know that have been fixed so far so if there uh, are um, if there happens to be uh, any difference it must be analyzed in order to identify the cause of the difference in and is thus and this is the you know followed by the uh, by collecting act, you know act uh, the process must be done rapidly and must be given uh, you know full attention by the managers in order to achieve the performance uh, or the goal which has been set so the basic method of you know control is um, uh, you know which are you know where you identify as uh, you know future control or um, concurrent uh, control or any feedbacks so input that is future control predicting the problem beforehand it it takes um, you know it takes at input region then transformation then uh, um, it is you know um, concurrent control that is managing the problem with when it happens so it hap you know during the problem which is during the functionary and when if there is a problem coming trying to manage that problem is a uh, um, 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 concurrent control then we have output uh, the feedback control uh, that is managing problem uh, after it has been uh, taken place okay now pre control and post control again uh, pre control this type of control is known as uh, preventive control or feedback uh, control now this involves the use of uh, you know information and including in the information from the latest results so uh, this is the, the uh, this is to focus uh, what will happen in the near future so we can use uh, you know metrology or you know uh, uh, psycho uh, you know, basically metrology which uh, keeps a check on uh, this year how much rainfall we might receive which are the areas which is going to be heavily affected by the rainfall which are the front which is developing into a super cyclone they uh, it can all be originated at the firms now uh, um, input uh, is to ensure uh, to you know comply with the you know um, quality of standard established so that the result obtained are also expect expected uh, one example of uh, the use of this uh, control is when a manager um, ensures that uh, the sample of a raw uh, you know uh, you know material uh, that is going to be used or compiled with the uh, you know uh, standard uh, compiled with the you know st standard established by the organization or based on the certain specification to be uh, 
avoid the damage towards the product in the future okay now then we have control measures in control measures it is carried out during the process of transformation when it is uh, the control just a minute i'll just get back to you okay now concurrent control uh, here the service the concurrent control is uh, carry, carried out uh, um, during the process of transfer uh, transformation so when this control is carried out the uh, restoration action corrective action or mo or modification are done after distortion is detected for um, a product oriented uh, oriented organization this uh, control action is taken while the input is uh, you know being processed okay so uh, while uh, you know input is being processed like uh, it is uh, taken in uh, for the uh, while uh, you know the services is being provided now the uh, through this method the control of organizations will monitor their operations and simultaneously take the necessary corrective action before the transformation process is completed now this will help to reduce uh, risk in uh, the input being uh, produced for example uh, example of this uh, product uh, of control are um, mid term examination control of you know accounts control of inventories and others uh, we have then uh, feedback control uh, in feedback control uh, involves gathering of information related to the weakness of a uh, controlling uh, measures um, after an incidents that take place that this type of control is implemented after transformation process and uh, ha has been uh, you know uh, completed with the uh, purpose of finding out whether the whole uh, activity ran properly with results uh, as expected now this control is uh, you know um, also able to determine whether the plan is uh, you know going to be you know ca uh, carried out uh, and has a you know continuity with the previous program or it has uh, you know uh, or it is also uh, able to evaluate the effectiveness or the efficiency of you know involved parties to perform the activities of the uh, organization for example this method of control is uh, used for uh, you know of low quality raw material that uh, results in production of low quality production the fact of changing the raw material used is one of the example of feedback control now according to uh, williams in 2000 uh, there are five forms of control that can uh, be used by the managers uh, implementing uh, the process of the control now this is bureaucratic uh, objective uh, normative and corrective uh, conservative and self uh, type of control okay bureaucratic control a uh, bureaucratic control uh, use hierarchical authority to influence the employees 
uh, you know reward are given to the employees who obey and punishes and punishment is you know met out uh, to the employees who do not obey the policies uh, you know and regulations and procedures of the organization okay then we have um, objective control this method is uh, used the measure of observation towards the behavior of employees or uh, out, uh, output pr uh, you know, pr produced to evaluate a, a work performance and uh, uh, you know, managers that are you know, focused on uh, you know, uh, observation and measurement towards the behavior of the employees or uh, output rather than that of the policy or rules that um, you know, objective a control can consist now uh, of the two forms of control behavior control and output control behavior control is also the rule of you know behavior and action that uh, controls the uh, uh, person's behavior of the employee in in their own area or, or in their task so for example uh, you know for example like for import control is often uh, you know is for for controlling the uh, you know uh, uh, other factors now output of the employees by you know guaranteeing reward and uh, incentives it it is important feature in the uh, implementation of the output control our reliability of you know fairness and uh, accuracy um, then conceiving the employees and the managers to achieve the expected results uh, while the you know reward and incentives depends on the performance and standard that has been established by the um, organization. Now, normative uh, control. Normative control is a method that arranges the behavior of the employees and results uh, through norms and beliefs shared. Uh, you know, um, all together. You know, among all the members within the. Uh, organization now there are two uh, main structures in this type of uh, control uh, which are sensitive like towards the section of you know employees i'm um, uh, based and their you know attitude towards uh, a norm and obtain the inspiration based on the experience and observation of the employee okay uh Okay, now we have conservative uh, control. Conservative control is uh, is the method that uses the uh, uh, uses the more you know norm uh, norms and behavior discussed, formed and agreed by the work uh, group. And this uh, form of you know control plays a role in an autonomous work group relations. So an uh, an accordance. Uh, you know, uh, uh, with like autonomous work groups, uh, which is um, a work group that operates with uh, the presence of the manager and is fully responsible for control of uh, uh, the process, task groups, uh, outputs, and behavior. Uh, uh, so, uh, and the behavior. So, autonomous, uh, you know, work group uh, that. Uh, you know, groups gra uh, gradually grow through the, uh, you know, two stage that is conservative, st uh, you know, through uh, taking up the conservative control is like first the member works and learns from the each other. Secondly, it, it can supervise the work of, you know, uh, each member and, uh, you know, uh, develop a norm and believe uh, the guide and control of the uh, of them so secondly the uh, you know appearance and acceptance of the you know uh, um, objective of either gu guide and controlling of the behavior is attained through uh, uh, conservative control self control it is a system where managers uh, you know uh, and employees control their uh, control their own behavior by establishing their uh, own goal, monitoring their own uh, process and uh, and their own achievement of the goal and uh, reward themselves and the goal has been achieved. Okay.
the factors that is needed to be uh, you know uh, seen is that determine the ma material to be you know control is important as you know it is making decision whether to uh, you know uh, control it or to what you uh, or what in method should be controlled during the process uh, you know, has to be taken care now there are several uh, images uh, or uh, several areas that needs to be controlled by the managers in order to organize uh, or able to achieve the goal as expected uh, coming to finance now finance is one of the important areas that needs to be controlled is finance there are times when the financial uh, you know performance does not reaches its expected uh, you know standard so if this uh, what do you call condition remains the unexpected and relevant uh, actions are taken uh, you know uh, in uh, safeguarding it so the existence of uh, you know uh, the existence of the you know company might be at a jeopardy if you do not consider the financial aspect so financial prospect is generally related to the activity such as sales purchase and others okay uh the financial assessment um uh, statement are important source of financial information of an organization but uh the balance sheet shows how long uh, the financial uh, you know position uh, assess is an asset and availability of and the location of these uh, assets are there okay so uh this is finance uh then we have human resource in human resource the control towards human resources is vital for you know organization of uh, and you know if an organization is unable to uh, control it uh, then uh, you know uh, if, um, they cannot uh, control the you know uh, uh, such incidences to ta happen the organization needs have to be planned uh, at the uh, you know um, uh, uh, it, it has to be you know planned and organization needs has to be concerned regarding the problem faced by the employees by creating harmonious uh, you know uh, discussion between the members and uh, between the board members okay now integral operations uh, integral operations are operations that cannot be uh, you know uh, overseen so inter internal operations of um, organizations are usually measured through quality uh, pre like preparation uh, of a, of a material you will require the composition and various other uh, combination of, to make a good uh, you know outcome so operation cools uh, you know is very important for the very uh, you know um, organizations especially the manufacturing firms so this is because of the uh, efficiency and effortlessness of the operations uh, you know uh, operations and control will you know determine the level of uh, pr production also so and the quality uh, and the quality value of the product and the services uh, produced based on this you know standard uh, will be able to translate and uh, then in further you know power prediction of the customers towards the quality of the market okay now for example a coconut uh, water ka jhar tha, like, what, what, like what you have to see is that control the product of uh, quality and able to reduce the waste and pr produce the effect uh, uh, this will uh, further save the cost now inventory cost is also effective in uh, reducing the cost of investments and related to the inventories okay customers uh, according to william in order to measure the performance of customers and organization need is uh, in, it um, uh, is to impose control on customers who have uh, who you know leave the organization and uh, in, you know uh, and not based on the survival of the customer satisfaction so here the managers will make uh, evaluation by measuring the person uh, in a percentage rate of the customer who left the organization by controlling the customers from the leaving the organization a uh, 
company will able to you know increase the profit for example the cost is of, uh, obtaining a new uh, you know um, customer it's five times um, more than the compared cost of the retaining the uh, existing customers okay so uh, to uh, at the end to conclude this uh, that you know uh, the main purpose of the management is to control to prepare the managers to face the existing as well as the future problem before it becomes very critical the advantages of uh, this uh, control is that it is it is time saving it is energy saving it allows managers to concentrate on you know important task this allows better utilization of you know managerial resources helps in you know uh, timely uh, corrective actions to be taken by the management now uh, messages can be you know uh, messages can be de detected as uh, tasks so you know routinely chore like can be completed by the other subordinates also so on the other hand you know uh, the subordinates uh, like uh, you know um, the con controlling uh, suff uh, suffers from the constraint and the organization that has no uh, you know control uh, over the external factors it uh, can also turn out to be a costly affair especially for uh, you know small companies okay so uh, so overall uh, what we have in control is that uh, uh, to conclude is that the planning and decision making organizing uh, leading and controlling we all need to have a con you know uh, control to oversee whether the, the this there is going uh, going to be a smooth running of the uh, business or not so all management function is the process that are initiated and uh, cannot be uh, omitted in purpose so the management process designed and maintained an environment uh, you know, uh, in so in which the persons work together in group compliance and efficiency uh, to a selective aims uh, the managers carry out ma management uh, of you know the main function for you know calling the organization uh, staffing leading and coordinating but depending on the uh, you know skills uh, and position and also organizational level and the time uh, uh, and labor which is spent in the uh, process okay so this is all for your uh, principle of management now i would like all of you to go into your lms and take the quiz for today that's all uh, with the presentation and we'll meet you again in the next lecture